Greetings to all you erudite magicians out there. Welcome back to my channel, Erudite Magic. My name is Jeff Kowalk. I'm so glad to have you here for the next episode of our show. The book I have for you today is incredibly exciting. It's been out of print a few times and they have published it again for, I believe, a third printing. And after this, there's no telling whether it'll still be in print or not. So you definitely are going to want to grab a copy of this before it's completely out of print. Trust me. The book I'm talking about today is an absolutely gorgeous book, and it is by John Lovick and Handsome Jack. If you don't know, Handsome Jack is the alter ego for John Lovick. John Lovick is a California-based actor and magician who performs regularly at the Magic Castle, but of course, he's plagued by the ever-present Handsome Jack. In fact, that's the entire setup for this book. I am, of course, talking about Handsome Jack, etc. This is a delightful, fun, and hilarious book, chock full of magic. Over 20 routines and three essays that will completely change the way you do your magic. As I said, the premise of this book is that John Lovick's alter ego, Handsome Jack, has decided to publish an entire book full of John Lovick's material. So the book is written by Handsome Jack and annotated by John Lovick. This combination works extremely well for me as I find myself laughing uproariously at the jokes within the pages because it's written by one character who is a pompous, full of himself performer and the footnotes are published by John Lovick, the creator, and down on his luck magician who has the misfortune of working with Handsome Jack. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Hey. How, how did you get here? That's not important right now. What is important is that you step aside and let me take over. No, 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 wait, this is my show. You can't, you can't just push me off. It was your show, and yes, I can push you off. Who do you think you are? I'm Handsome Jeff, that's who I am. The improved I, version of I you, I have a buddy. show to do here. Like I said, you had a show to do. I am the better person to talk about this book. Yeah, I, know, I know. know you think, I know you think that you're the expert here, but what do you want me to do? I want you to leave you, the you show. Want me to, you want me to leave, you want me to walk off of my own show. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Okay. Okay, whatever. Look, guys, I'll, I'll be back next week. Well, now that we got that unpleasantness out of the way, let me formally introduce myself. My name is Handsome Jeff. I'm the improved version of Jeff, the one you usually see on Erudite Magic. I'm definitely the right one to talk to you about Handsome Jack, etc. Handsome Jack is a friend of mine. Well, we've never actually met, but I think we'd be close friends. I feel sorry for him because he's always got that loser, John Lovick, trying to take the credit from him. Hey, look. I'm the brains behind the operation here at Erudite Magic. But let's forget about all that. You're here to talk about books. Now, I haven't read all this crap over here, but I can tell you about Handsome Jack. This guy has given you everything from his act. He's held nothing back. In fact, he's made it easy for you. He's broken things down into three distinct segments. First, you've got your openers. He gives you at least four openers that he has used in all of his stand-up shows at the Magic Castle and other places. These routines are dynamite. He's giving you punchlines, the jokes, etc. Now what you're gonna find is that a lot of this is gonna play specifically for his personality, which is as a brash, somewhat obnoxious, which makes him lovable to me, but somewhat of an obnoxious magician who's full of himself. But we can't all be male models now, can we? Now Jack, he knows how to push the envelope, sell things to an audience, sell the sizzle, not the steak. For all you other magicians out there who don't have the same great looks and personality to go with it, you got John Lovick to give you some of those details that are gonna explain the working behind the trick and where you might find more details if you're so inclined. Where was I? Oh yeah, openers. So he's given you four top-notch openers. One is a bottle production, which starts off as a humorous mentalism routine and really turns everything on its head when the magician produces an entire bottle of wine or ketchup or whatever you have in front of an audience 
and there's plenty of humor because that's what you're gonna find. Handsome Jack knows how to entertain an audience and make them laugh. Now, while you're getting the entire routines as Handsome Jack performs them, it would be wrong for you to steal his material. Now, I know he paid John Lovick to steal this material from him, so that doesn't count. You shouldn't steal his material and perform it as he says, but it's gonna give you a lot of really great ideas for how you can take these standard effects and turn them into something completely entertaining and magical. His take on the Sketchpad Rising card alone is absolutely hilarious. You're not gonna be able to perform it as he does, although there's nothing preventing you from doing so, but it's tailored to fit his personality. More on that to come. After he gives you four openers straight from his act, he goes into an essay that is well worth the price of the book alone on persona versus character and how you need to be developing your persona for performances. Like I said, this essay alone is going to be great, especially as you look to learn who you are and what you should be presenting to an audience. It's not a significant portion of the book, but the book is rather large at 200 pages with 20 routines from a working pro. Next up, he gives you a bunch of middle routines, things that aren't necessarily the right fit to be an opener or a closer, so they're things that go in the middle. There are all kinds of items here in the middle, everything from a 10 card repeat to ring on string, mathematical puzzles, card tricks, and even a humorous take on psychometry. Everything just has that handsome Jack flair to it that as you're reading, you're gonna be laughing, you're gonna be learning, and you're gonna be taking good notes so that you can learn what makes up entertaining magic. So many of these middle effects saw their genesis elsewhere and Handsome Jack, along with John Lovick, are very good about giving credits and detailing the history behind these effects, where it first saw print, where it may have been discovered before that, and who's helped along the way to give ideas to turn these rough jewels into finely polished gems that are presented to you here in this book. Not only does he give you all these routines that have never seen print before, but there are a number of items that are individually marketed effects that are now seeing print. So for example, he gives you the reparation, which is his piece by piece torn and restored card. It was published on a VHS years ago and later published by David Regal, who by the way, is a close friend of John Lovick's and has had his hand in many of the effects in this book. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of how entertaining this material is. Not only do you get the reparation, but you get a new way to do the reparation, something that is an improvement on the original method, or at least something different that you can explore and see if it works for you. On top of that, you're also going to get I Dream of Mind Reading, which was something made famous by Joshua J, although Handsome Jack has been performing it for a lot longer than Joshua J. Joshua J performed this effect on Penn & Teller Fool Us in a slightly different way, but you'll get the underlying methodology, the psychology, and how you really should present it to make it truly effective and entertaining. After these middle routines, he gives you another essay, this time on scripting, which is very important. Now, it's not gonna be as detailed as a book on the subject, like Jeff talks about scripting magic, whatever, but it is gonna be a great place to start to help you figure out how you should script, the importance of scripting, and what it's gonna do for your magic. Reading this section alone will be enough to get you going down the right path. Not only that, Jack gives you examples from his own work so that you can see how a properly written script looks, works, and makes the magic better. Finally, he gives you his closers. These are some hilarious pieces. And while everything in this book is normal in the sense that it has its origin from something you've probably already seen, everything is tweaked delightfully so that you will be laughing and enjoying and wanting to present some more magic. He's got a confabulation with an incredible story about how Handsome Jack performed this with David Blaine, and he gives you a transcript of exactly how it went down. True story, absolutely hilarious. Now, while you don't have to have David Blaine, he's not coming to see everybody's shows, but he'll give you ways that you can perform this for your own audiences to leave them amazed and amused. Finally, in one of the best bits of the entire book, he gives you his version of Card to Fly. Now on the back cover, Mac King talks about buying one of these effects for $1,000 and how there are 20 effects, so shouldn't this book cost $20,000? I believe the effect to which he's referring is this card to fly, 
but I can't be sure. Those details are between him and Jack. But it brings up a good point. This book is well worth the money. I believe you can get this book right now for about 55 bucks. 55 bucks for a man's entire life work. My understanding is the only reason this can be so cheap is because that idiot John Lovick forced him to publish this book. Not only that, there's ongoing litigation because John took some liberties with Jack's material, like redacting the entire section on how cardiographic works. What's up with that? The artwork in here is absolutely hilarious. I wouldn't be surprised if most of these were full prints in Jack's house. I know he gives them away to fans. So who's this book for? Well, look, if you're a parlor performer, it's a no brainer. This guy is one of the top performing parlor entertainers out there. So you're gonna wanna see how he comes up with routines, what he uses, and try to learn from that. But as the cover says, most of this stuff can be done close up. So if you're a close up guy, this is gonna work for you too. There's some adaption that will be necessary, but most of this is not necessarily suitable for a large stage, or if it is, it's gonna take some adaptation on your part. But for most of us, if you're performing in conference rooms, convention centers, or otherwise similarly sized rooms, this stuff's gonna be perfect for that sized audience. But like I said, most of it can be done close up too. It all depends on your personal style. Another thing worth noting is, the jokes in here are almost worth the price of the book themselves. No, I don't advocate stealing his jokes, but he did publish them here so that you can learn from them and decide what makes up funny magic. As the saying goes, funny is money. Obviously, I've done pretty well for myself. That's how I was able to pick this book up and use this material. You can do pretty well for yourself too if you get this book. Look, I don't wanna come across as a sleazy salesman, but this book has been out of print three different times. So if you're interested, you probably ought to pick it up sooner rather than later. It's been out since 2016. It's been a sellout at every print. So you don't want to be left out in the cold having to pay those secondhand market exorbitant rates from guys like me who stocked up on 20 or 30 of the books. The book comes across as being in full color. The pages are slightly off white with elegant black lettering. And then there's a subtle red tint to everything. If you're familiar with Ozzy Wynn's book, repertoire, it has a very similar feel because John Lovick helped him lay out that book too. It's absolutely gorgeous and it comes with a very interesting slip cover, which isn't really a full slip cover for the whole book, but just covers a portion of it. Really classy. Look, I don't know what else to tell you. If Jeff were here, he'd probably tell you a lot of other details, like it's a normal sized book, uh, you know, that it's uh, well worth the money, yada, 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 yada. Look, I'm here to tell you, if you wanna succeed in magic, you're gonna to need to read some of the best. Jack is one of the top working pros in the industry. He's consulted for Penn and Teller. He's fooled Penn and Teller on their show so you can watch him perform there. What more is there to say? You need this book and you ought to get it while it's still in print. Oh yeah, and Jeff would say something about, uh, you know, Thanks all my erudite friends for liking, subscribing, blah, 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 blah. Look, the kid works hard, but uh, he's a little misguided. He spends a lot of time reading books and talking to you guys. Eh, whatever. I got better things to do with my time, but I had to come here and rep my friend Jack. If there's any questions that I didn't get to, don't bother asking Jeff. He doesn't know. I'll answer your questions. So put them down below and I'll get to them when I get to them. Oh yeah, right, because this is... Erudite magic, uh, you know, till next time, everybody, keep reading. P.S. If you think I make a better host than Jeff, put something down in the comments. Pretty soon the board has to push this guy out the door. You guys are getting bored and I know it. I'm sure I'll be back around. Until then, stay frosty.